I'm standing here against the south wall of the Saxon shore fort of Regolbium, which is now uh, modern Reculver. The outer facing of the wall has been robbed away, but the, um, the core actually survives pretty well, and the uh, south gate is just a bit further down. Um, this fort was built around about AD 200 and then ran to the end of the Roman period. Uh, it was then used as a monastery and then a church, which was finally demolished. Its tower still remaining as a uh, beacon for ships uh, entering the, uh, the estuary. The first thing that hits you when you walk onto the fort platform at Reculver are these magnificent towers of the church. These were added in the 12th century. It was in AD 669 that Bishop Bassa built the first church on the site, reusing the Roman stone that lay scattered around. Even into the 17th century, the northern shoreline was still a quarter of a mile away from the church, but this was quickly eroded away. The blocked west gate was built in the 12th century and reuses many Roman tiles and stones from the surrounding fort. With the slow inevitability, the church slowly crept closer to the shoreline with the fort falling in first. The church was dynamited and its stone went to build Margate Pier in the 19th century. The church was also used as a movie location in the 1970s for The Medusa Touch, starring Richard Burton. The structure stands in the northwest corner of the remainder of the fort, with the headquarters building to the south on the opposite side of the path. There's still many burials in the graveyard dating from before the destruction of the church. Sadly, you can no longer climb the towers, but what remains of the church is uh, in good condition. It's worth looking out for all the remains of the Roman tiles and other stonework still surviving within the bases. It was on this point on the coast in the Second World War that Barnes Wallace helped develop the bouncing bomb which was later used in the Dam Busters raids. Sadly the Vicus or village that would have accompanied the Roman fort was to the north and has now been lost to the sea. Although much enlarged down the centuries, parts of the Saxon church founded in the 7th century still remain within the walls and the earliest part of the church is marked out in concrete on the floor. When the church was finally demolished, two Saxon columns were taken from the church and removed to Canterbury. The columns themselves were probably reused from a civic Roman building and taken to Reculver. The pillars can now be seen in Canterbury Cathedral in the crypt. The line of the original Saxon chancel has been marked out in concrete on the floor of the church. Although a third of the fort has been lost to the sea, the coastal erosion methods have now stabilised the situation. As the camera swings round we can see the ridge of the old churchyard. We look over the spot where the Roman bathhouse would have been within the fort. The path goes to the east gate, looking over the now silted up Wansom Channel, which would have been the major trading route between the Isle of Thanet and Richborough. I'm now walking across where the headquarters building would have stood in the Roman period. Barrack blocks for at least 32 men have also been discovered in the northwest corner of the fort, but other ones may exist on site. We know there was a cohort here from a tribe in northern Germany known as Bayer Tazi and they were here until the end of the fort's existence. We have an inscription from the headquarters building, which was found in fragments. So now we're approaching the south wall of the fort. And at this point here is the southern gate, part of which has been excavated. You can still see some of the stones left. There's a round pivot hole in one of the stones, rather overgrown at the moment. The outer fort walls would have been about 4.5 meters in height. They would have had a wall walk at the top and been faced with Kentish ragstone. There would also have been a turf backing to strengthen the walls on the interior. Mm -hmm. 
right up until the medieval period, the Isle of Thanet was an island separated from the mainland by the Wonsum Channel. Roman trading vessels would have passed in front of me, whereas now I'm just looking over flat, fertile fields. The defensive ditches of the fort are no longer visible, but we can see the robbed out east wall and also the guard tower is still visible, although much overgrown. The gateway here was just a single portal into the fort. The fort here was one of the earliest built of the Saxon shore forts at AD 200, and it lacked the bastions, uh, the projecting towers that a lot of the latest Saxon shore forts had. We know of 11 forts built along the south and east coasts of Britain to defend against pirates and raiders from the north of Europe. As soon as the fort was abandoned, stone robbing began, but really took off in earnest in the medieval period. Many of the local villages probably contained stones from the fort. We're lucky to have what we have left as we swing round the southern eastern corner and start to head back towards the pub. Excavations in the 1960s showed that some of the buildings had burned down but had been rebuilt in timber right up until the end of the fort's existence which was probably in the late 4th century. By this time the Roman Empire was on the wane. Invasions from outside the borders, constant civil wars within, more troops were being withdrawn from Britannia to fight in civil wars on the European mainland and eventually Roman rule came to an end in 410 AD. The remains of the fort lay in quite obscurity for maybe 200 years until the abbey was finally built within the ruins of the crumbling Roman structures. The work of giants for those that came ahead. So we're now approaching the King Ethelbert Inn, which does very good food and beer. There's also a cafe and car park on the seafront as well. So plenty of refreshments once you've done your excursion around the fort. You may be interested to know that once you've popped into the pub just check out the rear wall as that's built against the Roman fort itself. So if you've not run out of Roman enthusiasm take a look at that. So thanks for taking a walk with me today and if you've liked this video please like and subscribe as it helps me create more content. Many thanks.